Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Griffin GFX and today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make a Y2K logo outside of Photoshop using a service called Kittle. I've already had a little play on their website and I'm not going to lie, I think that it's dope. But today, before I learn too much more, I wanted to make a video, a Y2K logo in real time using their platform. So let's see how it goes. You guys get to decide whether the logos are L's or W's, so comment down below. If at any point you want to try Kittle out for yourself, it's free to use and there's a link down in the description to go and do so. So without further ado, let's give this a go. Alright guys, I've got Kittle open, I've got the Photoshop of Google Chrome open. When we land, you're going to see there's lots of templates and there's lots of different hashtags that we can use. But instead of doing any of this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a new project in the top right corner which is going to bring us to our canvas. Now, if you guys know how to use Photoshop, you'll probably find that this is second nature. You've got layers down the bottom right. You've got tools on the left. And as you begin to start using the tools, you will start to see you have the text settings and the text effects on the right. The effects are much like the Photoshop styles to add effects to the text. And the settings are going to be the font the way in which the font's presented if you were to have an arc or have it running on a circle or even custom. Now remember when you're using this that you can scale everything up infinitely. It works as SVG and you can save it afterwards as an SVG or a PNG or a PDF, however you want to save it. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to try and make a Y2K logo. So for me, the most important things for a Y2K logo is the choice of font, the choice of symbols, and then tying it all together with an outline stroke at the end. First thing I'm going to do is choose my font and type out a word. This basement grotesque one is pretty y2k-esque now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and search for a y2k symbol so you can go ahead and go over to elements and search y2k now we can play with these i'm a fan of this star here i think this is pretty dope so i think i like this but i don't like the blue stroke on the outside I'm going to take the inside of this star, make it white. And I'm going to do the same thing to the text by making the color of the text white so it becomes invisible. And then going over here and adding this block shadow. We'll make the color of the block shadow black. And we'll increase the outline width to make it look Y2K. It's one of the most important parts about a Y2K logo is that it has this drop shadow and this thick stroke. Let's go 145 minus 145 to get it going diagonally left and down like that. Now I want to do the same thing with these stars. So I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to press Ctrl and G to put them into a group. If I bring up the layers, you'll see this is now put them in a group. You can double click on a group to name it whatever you want. So we're gonna call this stars. Now you can copy and paste this group. Control copy, control paste, right up, right up. Control copy, control paste, right up, right up. Control copy, control paste, right up, right up. That's using the arrow keys. Now you see it gives it that direction. The direction matches the direction down here. So I think that looks pretty hard. You could now select all of these stars and you can make one group so that it's just all the stars in one place. Now perhaps we need some kind of an outer rim. So let's see what we've got. This one could be the guy. This could be the guy for the job. Now remember guys, this is all SVG ready. You can scale this up as much as you want. It won't lose any quality and you can then save it as an SVG when you're done which is perfect if you're going to be making merchandise or perhaps you want to move it into a 3D software, something like that. So let's get this illustration behind the text. Yeah, I do like that a lot actually. Makes this drop shadow just kind of disappear into it. We'll see what other assets we've got and see if any tickle our pickle.
The things you can do with the text using the transformation layer is actually really sick. It's so useful. Yeah. Oh, I like this one, guys. I'm going to save this for later. We have to use this in the next design. Right, guys, drop a like and subscribe. Projects save automatically, but you can give it a name up the top and it auto saves. Or you can just click here on this gray text to save it yourself and you'll find all of your projects on the left. In the effects section on the text, you'll also find a little decoration panel where you can try out different aesthetics. For example, you could have these horizontal lines, you can have diagonal lines, you can have a shadow within it. Some of this stuff's actually really cool. It's definitely worth playing with all of this when you make your Y2K logos. I genuinely think this is gonna help a lot of you guys create sick Y2K logos because just all the assets are in the same place and it all comes together so quickly when you have like a library full of assets to use and it's all on Kittle. Okay, so I'm gonna save this by hitting save. I'm gonna go to my profile. I'm gonna start a new project. And let's try again. Let's make another logo. Try and make it a bit different. And once again, you guys can decide if it's an L or a W. Let's get going. Text, add headline, Y3K. Let's pick a different font. And now let's go and grab some elements. Okay, so I've put my assets together. It's very messy at first, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same effect we did in the last one, which is to change the color of the text and add a stroke and then add that three dimensional effect by copying and pasting. So this time let's make the background black and let's do the text white. So I'm gonna make the background almost black, add the drop shadow. There's a color tool picker, which is very useful. So you can select that and then choose the exact shade of gray that you need. I'm gonna put all of this into a group. I'm gonna copy and paste the group and I'm gonna move it up each time. There you go guys, that's what it looks like now without the text. It's actually kind of sick. I'm just gonna put the text back over the top. We need to change the color of the outline stroke to be the exact same by using the tool picker. Now I might type something else. Burst. Not gonna lie, the longer I look at this for, the more that I like it. It's kind of infinite things you can do with this style of art. Once you've got it how you like it, you can go up to the top right corner, you can hit download, and you can save it as a PNG, a JPEG, or an SVG, and then you're good to go, guys. Let's try and make one more. I'm gonna take the background loop, I'm gonna copy and paste, I'm gonna move left, left, up, up. If you press shift and zero, it will align your canvas back in the middle. I've had this problem where I lost my canvas and shift zero fixes that for you. So there you go. These stars are a little too messy. Let's get rid of them and try a different asset. And boom, there we go guys. I've now made three logos using Kittle, which I think is an amazing alternative to Photoshop. If you're trying to make a logo, specifically Y2K, it's got all the assets that you need. It's very easy to learn. It's got layers, it's got layer styles, it's got free assets, and you get to save things as an SVG afterwards, making it honestly a really great service. If you guys like this video and you wanna try Kittle for yourselves, hit the link down in the description. And until next time, guys, that's been your boy Griffin GFX. I'll see you soon.